lion dance is a form of traditional dance in Chinese culture and other Asian countries in which performers mimic a lion's movements in a lion costume. The lion dance is usually performed during the Chinese New Year and other Chinese traditional, cultural and religious festivals. It may also be performed at important occasions such as business opening events, special celebrations or wedding ceremonies, or may be used to honor special guests by the Chinese communities. The Chinese lion dance is often mistakenly referred to as dragon dance. An easy way to tell the difference is that a lion is normally operated by two dancers, while a dragon needs many people. Also, in a lion dance, the performers' faces are only seen occasionally, since they are inside the lion. In a dragon dance, the performers' faces can be easily seen since the dragon is held on poles. Chinese lion dance fundamental movements can be found in most Chinese martial arts. There are two main forms of the Chinese lion dance the northern lion and the southern lion. Both forms are commonly found in China, but around the world especially in Southeast Asia, the southern lion predominates as it was spread by the Chinese diaspora communities who are historically mostly of southern Chinese origin. Versions of the lion dance are also found in Japan, Korea, Tibet and Vietnam. Another form of lion dance exists in Indonesian culture, but this is of a different tradition and may be referred to as Singaburong. History. There has been an old tradition in China of dancers wearing masks to resemble animals or mythical beasts since antiquity, and performances described in ancient texts such as Shujing where wild beasts and phoenix danced may have been masked dances. In Qian dynasty sources, dancers performing exorcism rituals were described as wearing bearskin mask, and it was also mentioned in Han dynasty texts that Mime people performed as fish, dragons, and phoenixes. However, lion is not native to China, and the lion dance therefore has been suggested to have originated outside of China from countries such as Persia, and introduced via Central Asia. According to ethnomusicologist Lawrence Picken, the Chinese word for lion itself, she, may have been derived from the Persian word angstromer. The earliest use of the word shi meaning lion first appeared in Han dynasty texts and had strong association with Central Asia and lions were presented to the Han court by emissaries from Central Asia and the Parthian Empire. Detailed descriptions of lion dance appeared during the Tang dynasty and it was already recognized by writers and poets then as a foreign dance, however, lion dance may have been recorded in China as early as the 3rd century AD where lion acts were referred to by a Three Kingdoms scholar Meng Kang in a commentary on Hansu. In the early periods it had association with Buddhism. It was recorded in a northern Weir text, description of Buddhist temples in Orwarang, that a parade for a statue of Buddha of the Chang'ayu temple was led by a lion to drive away evil spirits. There were different versions of the dance in the Tang dynasty. In the Tang court, the lion dance was called the Great Peace Music or the Lion Dance of the Five Directions where five large lions of different colors and expressing different moods were each led on rope by two persons and accompanied by 140 singers. In a later version, the five lions were each over three meters tall and each had twelve lion lads, who teased the lions with red whisks. Another version of the lion dance was performed by two persons, and this was described by the Tang poet Bai Ju in his poem Western Liang Arts, where the dance was performed by Hu dancers who wore a lion costume made of a wooden head, a silk tail and furry body with eyes gilded with gold and teeth plated with silver as well as ears that moved, a form that resembles today's lion dance. By the 8th century, this lion dance had reached Japan. During the Song dynasty the lion dance was commonly performed in festivals and it was known as the Northern Lion during the Southern Song. The Southern Lion is a later development in the south of China, most likely originating in the Guangdong province. There are a number of myths associated with the origin of this dance, one story relates that the dance originated as a celebration in a village where a mythical monster called Nian was successfully driven away. Another has it that the Qianlong Emperor dreamt of an auspicious animal while on a tour of southern China, and ordered that the image of the animal be recreated and used during festivals. However it is likely that the southern lion of Guangzhou is an adaptation of the northern lion to local myths and characteristics perhaps during the Ming Dynasty. Regional Types 
the two main types of lion dance in China are the northern and southern lions. There are however also a number of local forms of lion dance in different regions of China, and some of these lions may have significantly differences in appearance, for example the green lion popular with the Hokkien people and Taiwanese. Other ethnic minorities groups in China may also have their own lion dances, for example the lion dance of the Muslim minority in Shinkayu County in Henan. There are also related form of mask figures that represent mythical creatures such as the Klin and Pichu. The Klin dance is most commonly performed by the Hakka people who were originally from northern China, but have largely settled in the south of China and Southeast Asia in modern times. Various forms of lion dance are also found widely in East Asian countries such as Japan, Korea, Vietnam, as well as among the communities in the Himalayan region. Equals Chinese Northern Lion equals. The Chinese Northern Lion dance is often performed as a pair of male and female lions in the north of China. Northern lions may have a gold-painted wooden head, and shaggy orange and yellow hair with a red bow on its head to indicate a male lion or a green bow to represent a female. There are however regional variations of the lion. Northern lions resemble Pekingese or food dogs, and its movements are lifelike during a performance. Acrobatics are very common, with stunts like lifts, or balancing on a tiered platform or on a giant ball. Northern lions sometimes appear as a family, with two large adult lions and a pair of small young lions. There are usually two performers in one adult lion, and one in the young lion. There may also be a warrior character who holds a spherical object and leads the lions. The dance of the northern lion is generally more playful than the southern lion. Regions with well-known lion dance troops include Zushi in Hebei province, and Ningai in Ningbo. There are a number of variations of the lion dance performance, for example the Heavenly Tao Lion Dance from Xiangfen County in Shaanxi is a performance whereby a number of lions climb up a tall tower structure constructed out of wooden stools, and there are also high wire acts involving lions. Equals Chinese Southern Lion equals. The Chinese Southern Lion Dance originated from Guangdong. The Southern Lion has a single horn, and is associated with the legend of a mythical monster called Nian. The lion consists of a head which is traditionally constructed using papier mâché car copyright over a bamboo frame, and a body made of durable layered cloth trimmed with fur. Newer lions however may be made with modern materials such as aluminium instead of bamboo and a lighter. Newer versions may also apply shinier material over the traditional lacquer such as sequin or laser sticker but they do not last as long as those with semi-dull lacquer. Most modern lion dance costumes comes with a set of matching pants, however some practitioners use black kung fu pants to appear more traditional. Modern lion dance costumes are made to be very durable and some are waterproof. There are two main styles of Guangdong or Cantonese lion, the Futsan or Foshan, and the Hoksan or Hishan, both named after their place of origin. Other minor styles include the Fut Hok, and the Jiao Ga. The different lion types can be identified from the design of the lion head. Foshan is the style many kung fu schools adopt. It requires power in moves and strength in posture. The lion becomes the representation of the kung fu school and only the most advanced students are allowed to perform. Traditionally, the Foshan lion has bristles instead of fur and is heavier than the modern ones now popularly used. It also has a very long tail and eyes that swivel left and right. On the back there are gold foiled rims and a gilded area where the troop's name may be written. All the traditional style Foshan have pop-up teeth, tongue, and swiveling eyes. The underside of the tail is white. The designs of the tail are also more square and contain a diamond pattern going down the back, and often has bells attached to the tail. It has a high forehead, curved lips and a sharp horn on its head. Traditional Foshan lions are ornate in appearance. A number of regional styles however have developed around the world. The newer styles of Foshan lions replace all the bristles with fur and the tails are shorter. The eyes are fixed in place, and the tongue and teeth do not pop up. The tail is more curvy in design, does not have a diamond pattern, and lacks bells. The Hishan style lion is known for its richness of expression, unique footwork, impressive looking appearance and vigorous drumming style. 
The founder of this style is thought to be the Canton Lion King Feng Zheng Xhang in the early 20th century. Feng was born in a village in Hishan County in Guangdong, and he was instructed in martial arts and lion dance by his father. Later, he also studied martial arts and southern lion dance in Foshan before returning to his hometown and setting up his own training hall. He developed his unique version of lion dance, creating new techniques by studying and mimicking movement of cats, such as catching mouse, playing, catching birds, high escape, lying low and rolling. He and his disciples also made changes to the lion head, its forehead is low, its horn rounded and it has a dark beak mouth with flat lips. The body of the lion is also more powerful in structure with eye-catching colors. Together with new dance steps and agile footwork, a unique rhythm invented by Feng called the Seven Star Drum, Feng created a new style of lion dancing that is high in entertainment value and visual appeal. In the early 1920s, the Hishan Lion Dance was performed when Sun Yat-sen assumed office in Guangzhou, and created a stir. Around 1945, Hishan Lion performers were often invited to perform in many places within China and Southeast Asia during celebratory festivals. The Hishan style became very popular in Singapore. The lion acquired the title of Lion King of Kings, and has a king character on its forehead. Further improvement had been made by the Singapore Hoksan Association, for example making the lion more cat-like by shortening the tail of Hishan Lion, and creating new drum beat for the dance. Different colors are used to signify the age and character of the lions. The lion with white fur is considered to be the oldest of the lions, while the lion with gold and yellow fur is the middle child. The black lion is considered the youngest lion, and the movement of this lion should be fast like a young child or a headstrong teenager. The colors may also represent the character of the lion, the golden lion represents liveliness, the red lion courage, and the green lion friendship. There are also three lion types that represent three historical characters recorded in the classic romance of the Three Kingdoms who were blood oath brothers that swore to restore the Han Dynasty. The Liu Bei lion is the eldest of the three brothers and has a yellow-based face with white beard and fur. It sports a multicolored tail signifying the colors of the five elements as it was believed that being the emperor, he had the blessings of the heavens and thus control of the five elements. Older Liu Bei lions also have black in the tail while the new ones do not. There are three coins on the collar. This lion is used by schools with an established martial art master or organization and is known as the Rui Shi. The Guan Gong lion has a red-based face, black bristles, with a long black beard. The tail is red and black with white trim and a white underside. He is known as the second brother and sports two coins on the collar. This lion is known as the Crossing Shi. This is a commonly used lion. The Zhang Fu lion has a black-based face with short black beard, small ears, and black bristles. The tail is black and white with white trim and a white underside. Traditionally this lion also had bells attached to the body, which served as a warning like a rattler on a rattlesnake. Being the youngest of the three brothers, there is a single coin on the collar. This lion is known as the Du Shi because Zhang Fu had a quick temper and loved to fight. This lion is used by clubs that were just starting out or by those wishing to make a challenge. Later three more lions were added to the group. The green-faced lion represented Tso Yan or Tso Zai Long. The Tso Zai Long lion is a green lion with a green tail with black trim and a white underside, as well as a white beard and fur and an iron horn. He is often called the fourth brother. This lion is called the heroic lion because it is said he rode through Kao Ko Euro unregistered trademark S million man army and rescued Liberia Euro unregistered trademark S infant and fought his way back out. The yellow face and body with white beard represented Huang Sung, we was given this color when Liu Bei rose to become emperor. The Huang Jun has a full yellow tail with white trim. This lion is called the righteous lion. The white lion is known as Ma Chao. He was assigned this color because he always wore a white armband to battle against the emperor of Wei, Cao Cao, to signify that he was in mourning for his father and brother who had been murdered by Cao Cao. Thus this lion was known as the funeral lion. This lion is never used except for the funeral of a master or an important head of the group, 
and in such cases the lion is usually burned right after use as it is symbolically inauspicious to be kept around. This lion is sometimes confused with a silver lion which sometimes has a white-like coloring. These three along with Guan Yu and Zhang Fei were known as the Five Tiger Generals of Shun, each representing one of the colors of the five elements. Equals Vietnamese Lion equals The lion dance is referred to in Vietnam as the Unicorn Dance. It was imported from China but has acquired local characteristics, including the same instruments such as drum, gong and cymbal. Most lions in Vietnam resemble the Chinese southern lion with sheep's fur and not the traditional bristled hair, but there are also distinct local forms that differ significantly in appearance and performance. The dance is performed primarily at traditional festivals such as Vietnamese Lunar New Year and Vietnamese Mid-Autumn Festival, as well as during other occasions such as the opening of a new business. The dance is meant to ward off evil spirits and the dances are typically accompanied by martial artists and acrobatics. A feature of the Vietnamese unicorn dance is its dance partner Rengaaa or the Spirit of the Earth, depicted as a large-bellied, broadly grinning man holding a palm leaf fan similar to the Chinese Big Head Buddha. The good-hearted spirit, according to popular beliefs, has the power to summon the auspicious unicorn, and thus during the dance, takes the lead in clearing the path for the unicorn. The comical appearance of LNGAAA adds to the festive and merry-making nature of the dance. Equals Japanese Lion equals Japan has a long tradition of the lion dance and the dance is known as Shishimai in Japanese. It is thought to have been imported from China during the Tang Dynasty, and became associated with celebration of Buddha's birthday. The oldest surviving lion mask, made of poor launia wood with an articulated lower jaw, is preserved in Tadaiji in Japan. The dance is commonly performed during the New Year where the lion dancers may be accompanied by flute and drum musicians. The lion dance has been completely absorbed into Japanese tradition, and the style of dancing and design of the lion differs by region. There are many different lion dances in Japan, it is believed that as many as 9,000 variations of the dance exist in the country. The lion dance is also used in religious Shinto festivals as part of a performing art form called Kagura. Shishi Kagura may be found in different forms, for example the Dakagura which is mainly acrobatic, and the Yamabushi Kagura, a type of theatrical performance done by Yamabushi ascetics, Banjaku and others. Various forms of Shishi dances are also found no, Kabuki and Bunraku theaters. The Japanese lion consists of a wooden, lacquered head called a shishi gashira, often with a characteristic body of green dyed cloth with white designs. It can be manipulated by a single person, or by two or more persons, one of whom manipulates the head. As with Chinese lions, the make of the head and designs on the body will differ from region to region, and even from school to school. The mask however may sometimes have horns appearing to be a deer, and different kanji characters also pronounced shishi can mean beast deer or wild boar, for example as in Shishio Dori. The dance may also sometimes feature tigers or clin. In Okinawa, a similar dance exists, though the lion there is considered to be a legendary Shiza. The heads, bodies and behavior of the Shiza in the dance are quite different from the Shishi on mainland Japan. Instead of dancing to the sounds of flutes and drums, the Okinawan Shiza dance is often performed to folk songs played with the sanchin equals Korean lion equals. There are two main traditions of lion dance in Korea, the Sajinorium, which is performed as an exorcism drama, and the Sajatrum which is performed in association with mask drama. The best known of the Korean lion dances is the Bikyong Sajinorium or lion mask play from Bikyong. In this dance performers may don five different masks including a huge but comic lion mask. The dance was originally performed every night of first 15 nights of the Lunar New Year, where the dance troupe in lion masks and costumes visited every house in the villages of the Bikyon region, and the lion dance is meant to expel evil spirits and attract good luck for the coming year. There was also once a court version of the lion dance. Equals Tibetan lion equals. In the Himalayan and Tibetan area, there is also a lion dance which is called the snow lion dance. This dance may be found in Tibet and among Tibetan diaspora communities where it is called Senge Garkam, 
among the Monpa people in Arunachal Pradesh, and in Sikkim where it is called Singhi Chham. The snow lion has white fur, and in Tibet, it may also have a green mane or green fringes, while in Sikkim, the mane may be blue. The snow lion is regarded as an emblem of Tibet and the snow lion dance is popular dance in Tibetan communities and it is performed during festivals such as during the ritual dance festival and the New Year. The snow lion dance may be performed as a secular dance, or as a ritual dance performed by Bon Po monks. The dance may have a long history in Tibet, but may also have been influenced by Chinese lion dance in the Sino-Tibetan borderland. Equals Indonesian lion equals. The Chinese lion dance is referred to as Barongsai in Indonesia, often performed by Chinese Indonesian during Imlek. Indonesians, however, has developed their own style of lion dances. The lion dance in Indonesia has different forms that are distinct to the local cultures in Indonesia, and it is not known if it has any relation to the Chinese lion. The most well known lion dances are performed in Bali and Java. In Hindu Balinese culture, the Barong is the king of good spirits, and the enemy of the demon queen Rangda. Like the Chinese lion, it requires more dances than in the Javanese rig. The rig dance of Ponrogo in Java involves a lion figure known as the Singa Barong. It is held on special occasions such as the Lebaran, city or regency anniversary, or Independence Day Carnival. A single dancer, or a rock carries the heavy lion mask about 30 a euro 40 kilograms weight by his teeth. He is credited with exceptional strength. The Arok may also carry an adolescent boy or girl on its head. When holding an adolescent boy or girl on his head, the Rig dancer holds the weight up to total 100 kilograms. The great mask that spans over 2.5 meters with genuine tiger or leopard skin and real peacock feathers. It has gained international recognition as the world's largest mask. Music and Instruments The Chinese lion dance is performed accompanied by the music of beating of drums, cymbals, and gongs. Instruments synchronize to the lion dance movements and actions. Fud san, hok san, fut hok, chow ga, etc. All play their beat differently. Each style plays a unique beat. Developments in electronic devices have allowed music to be played via phone computer MP3 player. This has contributed to the evolution of how people can play lion dance music, which eliminates the need to carry around instruments. Costumes The lion dance costumes used in these performances can only be custom made in speciality craft shops in rural parts of China and have to be imported at considerable expense for most foreign countries outside Asia. For groups in Western countries, this is made possible through funds raised through subscriptions and pledges made by members of local cultural and business societies. For countries like Malaysia with a substantial Chinese population, local expertise may be available in making the lion costumes and musical instruments without having to import them from China. Association with Washu Kung Fu the Chinese lion dance has close relations to Kung Fu or W.C. Sha to the first and the dancers are usually martial art members of the local Kung Fu club or school. They practice in their club and some train hard to master the skill as one of the disciplines of the martial art. In general, it is seen that if a school has a capable troupe with many lions, it demonstrates the success of the school. It is also generally practiced together with dragon dance in some area. During Chinese New Year's and festivals. During the Chinese New Year, lion dance troops from the Chinese martial arts schools or Chinese guild and associations will visit the houses and shops of the Chinese community to perform the traditional custom of Kai Qing, literally meaning plucking the greens, whereby the lion plucks the auspicious green vegetables like lettuce either hung on a pole or placed on a table in front of the premises. The greens is tied together with a red envelope containing money and may also include auspicious fruit like oranges. In Chinese CCI also sounds like Kai and Kai. The lion will dance and approach the green and red envelope like a curious cat, to eat the green and spit it up but keep the red envelope, which is the reward for the lion troop. The lion dance is believed to bring good luck and fortune to the business. During the Qing dynasty, there may be additional hidden meanings in the performances, 
for example the green vegetables eaten by the lion may represent the QING mantras. Different types of vegetables, fruits, foods or utensils with auspicious and good symbolic meanings. For instance pineapples, pamelos, bananas, oranges, sugar cane shoots, coconuts, beer, clay pots or even crabs can be used to be the greens to be plucked to give different difficulty and challenge for the lion dance performers. But the difficulties of the challenge should comes with the bigger the rewards of the red envelope given. In the old days, the lettuce was hung five to six meters above ground and only a well-trained martial artist could reach the money while dancing with a heavy lion head. These events became a public challenge. A large sum of money was rewarded, and the audience expected a good show. Sometimes, if lions from multiple martial arts schools approach the lettuce at the same time, the lions are supposed to fight to decide a winner. The lions had to fight with stylistic lion moves instead of chaotic street fighting styles. The audience would judge the quality of the martial arts schools according to how the lions fought. Since the school's reputation were at stake, the fights were usually fierce but civilized. The winner lion would then use creative methods and martial arts skills to reach the high-hanging reward. Some lions may dance on bamboo stilts and some may step on human pyramids formed by fellow students of the school. The performers and the schools would gain praise and respect on top of the large monetary reward when they did well. The lion dance troops are sometimes accompanied by various characters such as the Big Head Buddha, during the 1950s-60s, in some areas with high population of Chinese and Asian communities especially the Chinatown and many foreign countries abroad China in the world, people who joined lion dance troops were gangster-like, and there was a lot of fighting between lion dance troops and kung fu schools. Parents were afraid to let their children join lion dance troops because of the gangster association with the members. During festivals and performances, when lion dance troops met, there may be fights between groups. Some lifts and acrobatic tricks are designed for the lion to fight, and knock over other rival lions. Performers even hid daggers in their shoes and clothes, which could be used to injure other lion dancers a Euro unregistered trademark legs or even attached a metal horn on their lion a Euro unregistered trademark S forehead, which could be used to slash other lion heads. The violence became so extreme that at one point the Hong Kong government banned lion dance completely. Now, as with many other countries, lion dance troops must attain a permit from the government in order to perform lion dance. Although there is still a certain degree of competitiveness, troops are a lot less violent and aggressive. Today, Lion dance is a more sport-oriented activity. Lion dance is more for recreation than a way of living. But there are still plenty of troops who still practice the traditional ways and taboos of the lion dance as it is practiced in the past. In a traditional performance, when the dancing lion enters a village or township, it is supposed to pay its respects first at the local temple, s, then to the ancestors at the ancestral hall and finally through the streets to bring happiness to all the people. Evolution and Competition Lion dance has spread across the world due to the worldwide presence of the diaspora Chinese communities and immigrant settlers in many countries in the Americas, Europe, Asia, Africa, Australia, Pacific Polynesia, and in particular, in Southeast Asia where there is a large overseas Chinese presence. The dance has evolved considerably since the early days when it was performed as a skill part of Chinese martial arts, and has grown into a more artistic art that takes into account the lion's expression and the natural movements, as well as the development of a more elaborate acrobatic styles and skills during performances. This may be performed as a cultural performances or during competitions. This evolution and development has produced the modern form of lion dances and competition are held to find the best lion dance performances. The competition may be performed on a series of small circular platforms raised on poles, and is judged based on the skill and liveliness of the lion together with the creativity of the stunts and choreographed moves, as well as the difficulty of the acrobatics, and rhythmic and pulsating live instrumental accompaniment that can captivate the spectators and the judges of the competition. International Lion Dance Championships are held in many countries, for example in Malaysia, Singapore, Hong Kong and Taiwan. In politics, 
the lion dance is seen as a representative part of Chinese culture in many overseas Chinese communities, and in some Southeast Asian countries, there were attempts to ban or discourage the dance in order to suppress the Chinese cultural identity in those countries. For example, in Malaysia, lion dance was criticized by a Malay politician in the 1970s as not Malaysian in style and suggested that it be changed to a tiger dance and it was banned except at Chinese New Year until 1990. Lion dance became a matter of political and public debate about the national culture of the country. During the Suharto era in Indonesia, public expression of Chinese culture was also banned and Barongsai procession was considered provocative, and an affront to Indonesian nationalism. This ban was however overturned after the collapse of the Suharto regime in 1998 but nevertheless the occasional local banning of the lion dance still occurred. In popular culture, in the 1960s and 1970s, during the era when the Hong Kong's Chinese classic and martial arts movies are very popular, Kung Fu movies including Jet Li's Wong Fu Hung has actually indirectly shows and indicates how lion dance was practiced with the Kung Fu close co-relation and Kung Fu during that time. Those days, the lion dance was mostly practiced and performed as washi or kung fu skills, with a challenge for the lion built of chairs and tables stack up together for the lions to perform its stance and accomplish its challenge. Several 1990s movies, including a remade version of Wong Fu Hung, and the sequels of Once Upon a Time in China, involved plots centered on lion dancing, especially Once Upon a Time in China 3 and 4. The series' main actor, Jet Li has performed as a lion dancer in several of his films, including Southern Star Lion Dancing and Once Upon a Time in China 3, Once Upon a Time in China and America and Northern Star Lion Dancing in Shaolin Temple 2 and Shaolin Temple 3. See also Chinese New Year, Culture of China, Chinese Dragon, Chinese Phoenix, Chinese Guardian Lions, Dance in China, Fu Dog, dog breeds originating in China that resemble Chinese guardian lions, and hence are also called fu or fu dogs or lion dogs, pantomime horse, barong, shishi, shiza, rig. Notes. External links, The Genuine History of Lion Dance, an in-depth article on the Chinese lion dance, information about green lions, additional informations about lion dance, the Chinese lion dance, Malaysia Mao Lion Dance Troupe is World Champion New Straits Times 11 Fabe, 1994, Korean Insights, Madanguk, Mask Dance Drama.